Hello, it's Jeff 16 and this is the second review. Uh, this is the Hornby Duke of Gloucester Heritage Railway Express. Um, basic box, but you get all the train packs, polystyrene and cardboard. So there's no point in me getting that out for you. It's DCC ready. I just have a quick look at coaches. I'll only put the brake coach in the other, the composite. This is Hornby's new railroad uh, mark ones. Very impressive, I gotta say. Not up to the standards of Backman, but they do look really good. Better than the like Harry Potter coaches and that. Plus they're a little bit lighter, which is good. Um, but these, like I said, really good coaches. I think you pay sixteen pound, seventeen pound. Uh, you could pay the extra, well, I think it's three pound to five pound for the back man, but I don't think you need to. These, these do look really good. Uh, they got NEM couplings, so you can put your own uh, couplings on them and that. Uh, just show you the composite. I think there's first and second class, so this is the uh, corridor coach. But they even got like little signs on the windows and that. They are really good for the price. Uh, I definitely want to get some more if I can. Um, so anyway, let's look at the local. That's the main thing. So we'll start with the tenders always. Uh, here's the tender. A uh, nice big tender actually, compared to my Britannia's tender. Um, what really stands out is the yellow uh, boxes on the wheels. Can't feel the cord now. And you've got like the ladders at the back. The rails, which I think are moulded. Yeah, the rails are moulded on the back. Uh, you've got the BI emblem. And that. The cohort does come out. The cohort can be removed, I'm sure it can. Uh, you've got these newer hooks for the tender. Which I got on um, Tornado as well. BR Blue Tornado. But the, the livery on the local is really nice. And the tender has a bit of weight to it, which is... It's important, but it's not that important. You don't want the tender to derail behind the loco, but you don't want it too light. So, that's good. As for the loco, very, when I first had it, I was very surprised how heavy it actually is. Uh, so, let me put them down here a moment. I'll get them, I'll pick them up easier. So, I've got to put the detail on it first. If we spin them around, you can see the steps on the front, and the pipe and that. And also, I have to put the pipes on the bottom of the uh, yeah well my head's just gone so this is Duke of Gloucester as you can see if the camera can just pick that up double chimney which I said in a previous video I do like double chimney engines um, but yeah very nice model the weight like I said is quite impressive you won't think it uh, this bogey don't move as of most Hornby locos but it's alright, it does the job. So, basically, the livery is really nice. I know Hornby are making a new one back for the, like, in the 60s and that. But this is a modern day one. This is like what it looks like today. But yeah, it's a really nice logo. i got to say, I'm very impressed with it. Like I said, the weight, when I picked it up, I just couldn't believe that. It's got to be one of the heaviest logos I own. I, I don't really know what the address is, but um, no, the weight is unbelievable. So yeah, that's Duke of Gloucester. Um, I will do a video of it running, of course, like I do with all mine. Looks very nice with the three Ormby Mark One coaches, and the tender just clips on the bottom of here. You got two little awards to choose from. Uh, we'll put it close together, but you don't actually run close together. That's close together then, which the tender don't actually move, I don't think. Then enough swinging for the tender. But no, it does look nice like that. Very close together, which is good. However, on my layout, we can have it like that. We go have it on the first notch because of the corners. Even on my corners, uh, or the the tightest corner is fourth radius. It goes up from that. So, yeah. Let me know what you think of the loco. Like I said, it's 
it's uh, the new Hornby mouldings and it's, a lot of people complained about it and that but it, it's alright I mean for me as long as the loco looks like a loco and runs and has a few little bits that aren't moulded that's fine for me and when I mean little bits like the steps on the front the railings are that's all that counts for me but other people have different uh, things so you know it's up to you but I do recommend the loco um, as for you can get the Ormby edition which is the pristine edition you can get the train pack which I had and you get the railroad one uh, the railroad one is something like 30 40 pound cheaper um, you don't have sprung buffers as well sorry I should have said that earlier uh, I don't think it, no no sprung buffers but that's alright for me that doesn't bother me so I do recommend the train pack if you can get it because the train packs seem to owe them money more and I got a few train packs now so that's what I always go for and yeah I recommend the loco there's no cab detail neither but again you ain't got to see the cab detail you can put two little people in there if you wanted to so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this uh, review with the loco and look out um, next is wherever you want it to be local wise just let let me know send me a comment or email and I'll, I'll do the uh, next unboxing or review of the logo just let me know what you want to see so thanks for watching i'll leave you with some shots of it running now <laughs>